there's awesome power, there's mighty power, every time we call on my God, the great I know today, all his presence, God is all ahead of you. Stop justifying your failures and see yourself succeeding. The day you make up your mind just say if I perish, I perish, I'm going to make it, you make it. Losers talk about how things are hard. Winners talk about how they can make it in hardship. You don't ignore challenges. They are there. But you don't build your faith on the challenges. Faith does not deny the obvious. But faith stands on the integrity of God's word. The way you talk will reveal what you believe. and see a great future ahead of you. Stop justifying your failures and see yourself succeeding. The day you make up your mind, just say, if I perish, I perish, I'm going to make it, you make it. Losers talk about how things are hard. Winners talk about how they can make it in hardship. You don't ignore challenges. They are there. But you don't build your faith on the challenges. Faith does not deny the obvious. But faith stands on the integrity of God's word. The way you talk will reveal what you believe. Hallelujah. You are welcome to the online morning devotion in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible is speaking in Mark chapter 7, verse 37. And we are beyond measure astonished, saying he has done all things well. We raise our voice and appreciate God for doing all things well for us. We are the online morning devotion. Raise your voice, appreciate God. Everlasting Father, King of glory. Lord, we say thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We celebrate your majesty. We've come to say thank you for doing all things well. We are the online morning devotion. Lord, we say thank you. Take all the glory for answering our prayers. We are the online morning devotion reviving us. Lord, we say thank you. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Be that exalted, mighty God in Jesus' mighty name. I appreciate God's faithful. Hallelujah. Magnify the name of the Lord. I enter. The Holy of Holies I enter through the blood of the Lamb I enter to worship you only I enter to honor
to remind and invite others by sharing this link of the online morning devotion on all your social media handles. The streams are always available for those in different time zones. You can also subscribe and follow us on all our social media handles. Always like and comment on our streams and God will advance everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. Testimonies prove the faithfulness of God in our lives. It's testimony time. Testimony from Sophia David, Lagos State, Nigeria. Ever since I joined the online morning devotion in June 2023, I have experienced growth in my spiritual life and favor on every side. I had pain in my right knee since the end of last year. During the personal prayers in one of the online morning devotion sessions in March, I asked God for healing. 
because the pain was becoming unbearable. I return all the glory to God because he answered me and I am now pain free. I can easily do what I what was difficult before. Thank you, Lord. Testimony from Jury, Olaho, River State, Nigeria. Since the inception of the online morning devotion, I have joined and seen improvements in my prayer life, breakthroughs in my job. My dog was sick and unable to work for two months. And despite visiting several vet clinics, all medications proved abortive. On Monday, 15th April 2024, during the personal prayers in the online morning devotion, I prayed for the dog to be healed and be able to walk again. That night, I had a dream where God's servant touched his legs and immediately he began to walk and run around. The next morning, strangely, my dog could stand and to the glory of God, on the 19th of April, 2024, it began to walk and run around again. Glory be to God. Testimony from Christabel Awo Osage, Nigeria. On March 23rd, 2024, my birthday, I keyed into the prophetic declarations by God's servant, and it was the best birthday I have ever had. I am still receiving gifts two weeks after my birthday. I also had been believing God for a new phone, and now... By his mercy and grace, I got it. Ever since I started joining the online morning devotion, I have been enjoying supernatural favor, financial assistance, and wisdom. My prayer life has been restored, and I can now pray effectively and even quote relevant scriptures. This is truly a ministry blessed and backed by God. I give God all the glory. Testimony from Obiora Uche, Newcastle, United Kingdom. In February 2024, my school mailed me about plagiarism in one of my modules which made them withhold my results, pending my defense. I went through the evidence presented to my group mate and I, but there was no similarity in our work. According to the evidence, all through the February online morning devotion sessions, I prayed fervently, frustrating every plan of the crafty in this regard, and before facing the panel, I declared exactly how I want the session to go. On the defense day, my module tutor went through our works asked questions while comparing it with the evidence, and he called his junior colleague to order because there was no form of plagiarism of any sort. The school later mailed me saying there was obviously no plagiarism in my work and that my results would be released to me. I thank the God of the online morning devotion. Testimony from Mrs. Peace, River State, Nigeria. In December 2019, my husband lost his mother a day after fulfilling our traditional marriage rights and had to use his wedding savings for her funeral. In 2020, he was laid off and due to the pandemic, he was never recalled. I wore our engagement ring for so long that I began to get mocked. When the online morning devotion began, I participated with faith and my husband got a job in a foreign company he had never applied for. We immediately resumed wedding plans and sealed our union in June. I had a smooth pregnancy but God scared when I witnessed a friend lose her child. During the online morning devotion personal prayers, I asked God to take fear away from my heart and renew my mind. At the delivery ward, a lady had been in labor days before my EDD, my ex expected delivery date, so I invited her to join me while I streamed, the one, streamed one of our services. When she was due, she delivered safely, and so did I. Hallelujah. You are next to experience the faithfulness of God. Rise on your feet and begin to give God thanks. No, so thank you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. This session was taking prayers, focusing on the body of Christ. The Bible speaking in Mark 2, chapter 4, verse 16. My, the people we sat in darkness saw great light, and to them we sat in the region and shadow of death. Light is blown up. We appreciate God for using the gospel of Jesus to massively liberate souls headbound by Satan and also glorifying the body of Christ in all nations. Raise your voice. I appreciate God is faithful. Everlasting Father, King of glory, Lord, we say thank you. We give you all the glory and praise for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Lord, we've come to say thank you for seeking and saving every soul that has been held bound for, by Satan, liberating the soul from the power of hell and of darkness. Lord, we say thank you for glorifying yourself mightily in the body of Christ. Lord, we've come to say thank you. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Be that exalted. Be that magnified. Oh, Lord, we reverence you. Blessed be your name. My to king take all the honor take all the adoration blessed be your name in jesus mighty name 
in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 41. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold of judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and I will reward them that eat me. You command death upon any agent sponsoring or planning to attack the body of Christ and our worship centers globally to corrupt our testimony of peace. Raise your voice, pray the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, he said in the God's war, he said my arrows shall be drunken in their blood. In the name of Jesus, we command the judgment of instant death upon whoever is planning, sponsoring to attack the body of Christ. All worship centers across the globe, we command God's judgment to be for such one as they are planning, as they are thinking, let destruction take them out on the west. They will not live to carry out the evil plan, whoever is planning, whoever is thinking all the sponsor of an attack against the body of Christ. Whosoever touches the mouth of this water shall surely be put to death. Whosoever be paid by the power in the name of Jesus we put to instant death and destruction every agent of the devil that plans that thing to attack the body of Christ. Worship centers across the globe by the power in the name of Jesus we cause such ones to death. No force of air, no human agent is submitted to corrupt the covenant, the testimonies of peace of the body of Christ in Jesus. Mighty name. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, used the blood of Jesus against any force contending with the eruption of life transforming encounters in all soul winning activities of the body of Christ. Here is your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, is I overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, by the blood of Jesus, may frustrate every plan of the devil to contend with the erosion of life, transforming encounters in every so many activities of the body of Christ. It said, lose him and let it go by the power in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. We utterly destroy the law shall be seen over thee. His arrow shall go forth as a lightning that the law of Jesus go forth as a lightning, utterly destroy every walk of darkness, every force contending. The Lord will contend with thee that contend thee and we walk. No force of hell can enter it whatsoever. Want to enter, contend with the eruption of life, transforming and cut us in the so many activities of the body of Christ. We command such force be met with instant judgment. We judge such force by the Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, in Psalm 80, verse 3, turn up again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Pray that the power of God will always be on display, convincing and converting sinners, backsliders, into the faith in all programs of the body of Christ. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, is that God's war, the Lord our God, in the midst of us, is mighty, he will save, he will rejoice over us, in joy, we pray by the power, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let your power be on display, let your mightiness be displayed, in the name of Jesus, the Lord deliver Israel with the mighty hands, Lord, we are by your mighty hand, let it be massive display of your power that will convey and convert every sinner, religious host, backslider, those in the valley of this Lord, we ask, let your power be evidential to say, for I said the same signs, they will not believe. Lord, we pray for incredible miracles, signs and wonders in all so many activities that we convince and convert every sinner by slider into the body of Christ. They are the programs of the body of Christ in Jesus. Mighty name. In Micah chapter 4, verse 2. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up unto the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob, and will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his path. For the Lord shall go forth at forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Pray that the revival in the body of Christ will always gather great multitude into the faith, establishing them via the word. Raise a voice, pray in the name of Jesus. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, it says that it goes for all that people shall be willing in the days of the power. Lord, we pray by the power in the name of Jesus. Let your power be evidential in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, let your power be seen mightily. The fire upon the altar shall ever be born in it. It shall never go out. Lord, we pray the fire of revival in the body of Christ. We compare men and women. We build the faith of everyone to flow in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, let the fire of the fiber be evidential in the body of Christ. Let the word of God be yeah, the message of the body of Christ. Carry power in the name of Jesus that we compare and build the faith of what to cause them to be established in the faith in Jesus. Mighty name. Lastly for this session, in Psalm 122, verse 6, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. Pray for Nigeria and other nations to always enjoy divine aid and restoration of peace in them, putting an end to killings and stagnation. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's a prayer for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper. The love day was that we pine on earth is bound in heaven by the power. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Nigeria as we have to to other nations of the earth. We continuously enjoy the fire restoration of peace in them. Every force contending with the earth, contending with the restoration of peace in every nation of the earth. Just in Nigeria as we have to we command such force be made. With the judgment in the name of Jesus, we buy such force, we put an end to everything. God killing stagnation in the nation, Nigeria, to all nations of the earth. We decree all and peace, all and rise, calmness on every side. As to the light, so shall it be in Jesus. Mighty name, appreciate God of your answers. In Jesus' mighty name. In this section, we are praying for ministers of the gospel their families and every other family connected to online money devotion. God was speaking in Psalm 89 verse 22. The enemy shall not exalt upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Pray against any plan of Satan to attack ministers of the gospel and their families through enemies. You will decree divine covering of peace and life over them. Lift up your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Every plan of the devil to attack the ministers of the gospel, to attack their families through enemies, to sear up an issue of concern, will come against you, the devil, by the blood of Jesus. Every plan from the pit of hell to cause an issue of concern, to cause death, to cause sorrow, to cause pain in their life, in their assignment. I do the devil in the name of Jesus. We command your works be destroyed. No weapon found against them shall prosper. Every weapon of the devil that gathered against their lives and loved ones, we command that weapon be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. My covenant with them as the covenant of peace and life. We decree to find covenant of peace, long held in life for them, now and always in Jesus' mighty name. Psalm 92 and verse 10. But my heart shall thou exalt like the horn of my unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. You pray that God shall anoint every minister of the gospel with fresh fire as they prepare for Sunday ministration, as the Lord to make them outstanding in the assignment and also in their families. Lift up your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he said, but you have an usher from the Holy One. He said, he shall be anointed with fresh oil. Oh God of heaven, we pray that you anoint every minister of the gospel of fresh with fresh fire as they prepare for Sunday ministration. Oh God of heaven, fresh fire rest upon them. Cause them to stand out in the assignment. Cause them to stand out in their family. In the name of Jesus, said, thou shalt exalt your home like that of a unicorn lord we pray that the ministers of the gospel across the globe will continue to stand out in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name now we focus on families connected to this prayer isaiah 54 verse 17 no weapon formed against thee shall prosper pray to stop the devil from afflicting you and your family with evil sickness or death you will decree that you your family will enjoy peace and love you to life lift up your voice pray in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord god is in our midst 
Therefore, we shall see evil no more. Every attempt by the devil and his agents to afflict our lives and families with anything called evil, whether sickness or death, accident, destruction, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, cast the devil out, stop all his blood. We decree every family connected to this prayer will enjoy all and peace, long healthy life, divine health in Jesus' mighty name. Proverbs 26, verse 27. Whoso to get a picture for the ring, he that rolleth a stone, he shall return upon him. You will call on God to execute divine judgment upon anyone attacking you and your family, whether diabolically or physically. Pray that the same evil they have planned against you shall return to them. Lift up your voice. Pray right in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, whoso to get a beat shall fall to your ring with decree divine judgment of God upon any agent of the devil that has attacked or planning to attack our lives, our families, we command the same evil return to them. Oh God of heaven, let your wrath rest upon the wicked, planning evil against families connected to online money devotion in Jesus mighty name. Jewel 2 verse 25, I will restore unto you the years the locusts has eaten. Pray that God should restore to you and your family the years you have lost you to ignorance, error, and insensitivity, making your joy to be restored in full. Lift up your voice, pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God's word speaking said, and I will restore unto you again. We pray, God of restoration, whatever we have lost as families connected to online money devotion, whether by ignorance, error, and sensitivity, be restored to us in full. Let our joy come back in full. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Matthew 19 and verse 8, but from the beginning, it was not so. You pray against any plan of the devil to attack your family with strife, envy, disunity, separation, or divorce. You will decree love and peace in your family. Lift up your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every plan of the devil to attack our family will strive with every disunity, separation, with divorce, will command and destroy by the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus, from the beginning it was not so, therefore we decree love and peace in our families, in Jesus' mighty name. God was speaking in the book of First Samuel 1 verse 17, we go to God in personal prayer. The God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Lift up your voice, present your family desire to God. In Jesus' mighty name. Psalm 33 verse 9. For he spake and it was done. Command all your expectations for today to manifest in your favor as you step out. Lift up your voice. Command it in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We command today be open in the name of Jesus to us and to our families. We declare that expectation today shall not fall to the ground. We enjoy favor on every side. In Jesus' mighty name. And finally, Galatians 6 verse 17, henceforth, let no man trouble us, for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord. Use the blood of Jesus to cover the body of Christ, minister of the gospel, you and your family for divine exemption. Lift up your voice, pray in Jesus' mighty name. Blood of Jesus! Blood of Jesus! Blood of Jesus! Blood of Jesus! Christ, ministers of the gospel of families, in Jesus' mighty name. Give God thanks, he has heard us. Father, we give you praise. May it be glorified. We exalt you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please may have your seat. You are welcome. Hallelujah. 
I want to thank the Almighty God for this wonderful privilege. I want to also thank Papa for giving us this privilege. At least Papa is showing us to the world. Papa, thank you very much. I want to also thank Mama and my senior colleagues. God bless you that is listening as well. God will reward you in Jesus' mighty name. We'll look at briefly soul winning this morning. We'll look at soul winning. Papa said soul winning is introducing Christ to an unsaved person. So winning is introducing Christ to an unsaved person. Papa also said, he said, if you cannot preach, invite. Like this online money devotion, you can invite them to hook up. So many people said, somebody told me to join, and this and this happened. Started having testimonies. Somebody was traveling to Italy. He said he was stranded. Somebody gave him the link, and he hooked up to the link, and God gave him fever to arrive to Italy. Now, if you cannot preach to them, invite them to join the salvation ministries. Tomorrow we'll have four services and the online money devotion as well. He said, Papa said, if you cannot preach to them, you invite them to hear, and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Now, look at why we must win souls. Why? Why? Why we must win souls? Why we must win so? Number one, he says, soul winning is God's business. We must win so because it's the business of God. Soul winning is God's business. If you look at Luke chapter 2, 49, and he said unto them, How is it that he sought me? Which you know that I must be about my father's business. So it's, it's the business of God. And Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek you first the kingdom of God, every other thing shall be added. So if so when is God's business, and by the children of God, we must carry the business of our father seriously. So we must do our father's business. Number two, so winning is a commandment from God, because God commanded that we win souls. Once we are born again, you are a marketer of Christ. You market Christ to people. Once we are born again, our duty is to market Christ to people. And every company that is doing well, they have marketers. They will go out to advertise the market, convince people to join, uh, to patronize the company. So once you are born again in this kingdom, an ambassador, you also a, a marketer to introduce Christ and the benefit of Christ to people to also follow Christ. So it's a commandment from God. John chapter 15, verse 16. So you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. So God commanded us to win. So once you are born again, even though you are born again, you become born again today, you have joined the link of bringing people to Christ as well. And number three, so winning helps us to avoid mother charge. It helps us to avoid mother charge. So winning helps us to avoid mother charge. In Ezekiel 3, 18, say, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. He shall the, the same wicked man will die, and his iniquity shall be upon your head, God forbid. So if somebody commits sin around us, and if not link uh, to this case to the person, for the person to stop that evil, the Bible says, if that person dies in committing that sin, his blood shall be upon our head. So once you anywhere you are, there are sinners around you. Wherever you are, even in your room, your siblings, your cousins, they are not born again. So for them to stop the evil, you must introduce Christ to them so that you will be free from murder. And God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Then so winning number four, so winning liberates sinners from destruction. It liberates sinners from destruction. It brings them out from that evil. It brings them from dead. I remember a particular day, Papa was preaching, and he says, hey, someone here, yeah, this is your last chance if you don't accept Jesus. And he said, God is telling this, today is your last chance. Come out to, to accept Christ. Or talk or. The boy, the boy's sister told him, you see who God is talking about. And the boy refused to go out, and that day, I think that day, the next day, he went for court activity and he died. His soul would have been saved, but he refused. So once we talk to them, we would bring them out from destruction. So you must engage in soul winning to bring people out of death. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. So for the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. He came to save. So our duty is to also save them from destruction. Number five, soul winning make you enjoy speed. Speedy answers to your prayers. Why we must win so you too, if one of your prayers to be answers, as I even join the morning devotion, you give you give us speedy answers to our prayers. 
some of your prayers have not been answered that we are believing God for because we have not engaged in the business of God to bring sinners to Christ so that our prayers will be answered. In John 15, 16, he said, Yeah, I have not chosen me, that I have chosen thee, and ordained thee that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name is when you bring them and they abide, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, the Father would give on to thee. Then the last one, the final number six, every soul winner is a wise, is wise. Every soul winner is wise, and we enjoy divine wisdom. Every soul winner is wise. And if in case the person is not wise, the person will enjoy divine wisdom. Proverbs chapter 11, 30, it said, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth soul is wise. So for you make a wise decision this morning, and in case you are with us, your wise decision you will do this morning is to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. In case you have not accepted Jesus to become wise, say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe you died and rose to save me. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. In case you made our prayers, there will be a link on your screen. Just uh, reach us. We'll pray for you and also you to invite someone to join the online money devotion. And tomorrow we'll have five uh, four awesome services. Make sure they woke up. In case there's no physical salvation around you, you make sure you woke up online and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Papa is in the house. Let's go, Papa, to command. Bless us and God will reward you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you are blessed. Tomorrow is going to be an anointing service. And it's not going to be a conventional service. Not just going to pour oil. I'm going to teach on prosperity in a different way. Not just giving. Are you hearing me now? It's not just giving. I'm not going to teach that pattern. It's going to be very unconventional teaching. The level of poverty shouldn't be a victim of it. You can be out of it with excellence, with problem solving, and etc. I'll teach in a very unconventional teaching. There's nobody that keeps improving on themselves that ever be poor. Why do they say they advanced countries? They advance because they keep improving. Why is it third world countries? Because no improvement. And improvement is not just in the physical, improvement is in the mental. Once you're mentally improved, you can never, poverty can never. You know, prosperity is a function of mass capacity to think. When you're able to think, there's no way you can be poor. That's what they pay the manager more than the bricklayer. Find out tomorrow. Are you going to say now? A man of excellence can never be poor. An excellence is simply you doing the unconventional on a continuous basis. When you're consistent, forget it. No devil can stop you. Why is Apple more expensive than Samsung? Simple. That gives you a particular example. Samsung has, has been there before Apple came. But how come Apple phone is more expensive? They kept improving. Why is Toyota very popular, modern, Nissan? Simple. They kept improving. So, so success is not just, oh, I give money. You can give money and not be successful. That is part of it, but that's not all of it. If you watch, Toyota sells more than Nissan products all over the world because the principle of Toyota, they call it Kaizen. K-A-I-Z-E-N. It's a Japanese language. It means continuous improvement. That's why Toyota all over the world sells more than Nissan products. They kept improving. If you buy Twitter today, the next day you see another improvement. So I'll tell you tomorrow. Amen. So the oil will be for God to stir up. So it doesn't depend on the oil. That will be tomorrow. But today, I promise that I'll pray for the sick and I'll pray for God to touch people. Because you say, why? Why sick? When a man is sick, even if he's prosperous, he'll be poor. Because the sickness can take away all his wealth. That's why Satan attacks the body of people so that they keep spending and spending and spending and spending. Then of course, I wish you both of that may be prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospered. So God wants us to be healthy and also be wealthy. If you look at God's wish, it's due to this. Health and wealth. Third John 2. So now, I will handle that of health today, and then tomorrow I'll handle that of wealth. Is that clear? Glory to God. Let's just worship. Believe God that you'll be well in your body. Sickness will leave. As I walk through the door, I sense this presence, and I knew this is the place where love abides. This is the temple, Jehovah God abides here. 
understanding He is present on holy ground and we Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. The Bible declares, Surely, that word surely means for sure. He had bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem his stricken as sweet of God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions, nobody doubt. Everybody knew that Jesus died for our sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastenment of peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. First Peter 24 says, You were healed. That means you've been healed. You are not forgiven the day you accept Christ. You are forgiven 2,000 plus years ago. But the day you realize you accepted Jesus, you became forgiven. It's not going to heal you now. He has healed you. But all you need to do is accept the finished work of Christ. He said, If Jesus was here, I know I would have been well. He's here where you, right where you are. He's the same yesterday and forever. His word can't come back void. It must accomplish the purpose to which it has been sent. Put a hand in that part of your body. I take my authority in the greatest of all names, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is I am and who called me. I command your foul spirit of infirmity. I command that fever, that sickness. Do in Jesus name. I rebuke that sickness to leave. And I pronounce you healed. In the name of Jesus, be made perfectly whole. I mean, be made whole. You say, restored health. So I command your health fully restored. Amen. I command every part of your body made whole. Amen. On the spot in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't care the name of the sickness. It lives right now. Amen. And you be made whole. Amen. Healing is not complex. It's very simple. Do what you could not do before. That's an act of faith. He met a man, he said, stretch forth your hand. The man's hand was withered. Jesus stretched it forth. You know why he said so? 
the hand was created to clap for the glory of God. And Adam couldn't clap. So Jesus didn't waste time. He said, I created this hand to my glory. So he said, stretch your hands. And the man just stretched his hands. And that was it. The man was crippled. He was supposed to use those legs to praise God. If you watch in Acts chapter 3, he said the man limped up and was praising God. So every part of your body is for a purpose. And God did not create it not to function. The man was to use his leg to praise God and he limped up and said praising God. Because legs were used supposed to dance and praise him. Every path, when Bartimaeus met him, he was to see Jesus so he can get a hold of the goodness of God. So he said, receive your sight. So every part of your body that is not functioning well is for a purpose. That purpose must be fulfilled now. Amen. The deaf he met them because he needed, they needed to hear the gospel of Jesus. He didn't struggle. The demons came out. I don't need to struggle. I command every part of your body affected, made perfectly whole. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't care whether it's cancer, you are made whole. Amen. And that part of your body, use it to praise God. Amen. Even if I've spoken now, that person who says, Amen, you'll be shocked that you're made perfectly whole. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every miracle you're looking for, with a barrenness, you want to be fruitful. Student, you want to pass your exams. Whatever is a miracle. God said, is there anything too hard for him? Jeremiah 32, 27 and verse 17. And the answer, there's nothing too hard. So there's no situation God cannot handle. That situation I command you to end with a testimony. Amen. That thing in your heart that has been troubling you will end with a testimony. Amen. After I've spoken, so shall it be. And the one who says, Amen, you will wake up with a testimony. Amen. You will live today with a testimony. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Lift those hands to heaven and just keep praising God. I tell God, thank you for giving me my miracle. Tell him, thank you for giving me my testimony. Go ahead and give thanks to him. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Let today not end without you winning a soul for Jesus. If you have won one, make sure you visit them to be in your church. But make sure tomorrow you hook up. Even if you have a church, just hook up with one of our services and you will know the grace. It's not going to be conventional teaching. You will hear something very unconventional that will just shift you out of the the, in the colloquialism of our heads, you will not be amongst them. You will not be among the frustrated. You will not be amongst the downtrodden. You too will rise. You will shine. You don't need to be corrupt to be blessed of God. You don't need to be a thief to be rich. God can bless you because the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich and added no sorrow. And tomorrow you'll be amongst the blessed in the name of Jesus. When God blesses you, everyone can hate you, you still succeed. You will succeed in life. Lift those hands to heaven. Go in peace. And have a weekend full of favor. A weekend where things will happen. And you will know that this is the hand of God. No evil shall befall any of us. Peace in all our journeys. In Jesus mighty name. The grace together. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet love of the Holy Spirit. Rest now by with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you.